Hi, welcome back to the channel. Again, this is Dean Rod Vera or the Moto Dean. And uh, I'm on my way to work this uh, Friday morning. And uh, in this video, I'd like to talk to you, my uh, friends. Should I call you Dean's Listers? Um, should I name you guys something? Yeah, you know, put in the comments what do you want. I'm going with either friends, not guys, I hate guys. And for it to be unique, Dean's Listers. What do you think? These listeners, put in the comments down below. All right, so I'm now uh, here in the Philippines. I'm going to discuss why you guys should get a cruiser motorcycle as part of your arsenal, your harem, your uh, fleet, maybe. Uh, fleet, wow. Huh? So um, here I am uh, entering uh, the Skyway. I'm gonna pass through here. Hey, if you don't have any RFID, just say so. All right, so why you should, where anybody for that matter, anybody in the world, should get a cruiser, a motorcycle. Uh, not exactly, a, if you wanna make your main, just go ahead. This was my main for about three, two years. I now have a BMW 750, uh, thanks to my wife. Hello. And uh, why you should have at least one cruiser as part of your motorcycle arsenal okay I'll give you the reasons in this video but I'm stuck here now at the RFID area and this is supposed to be with RFID not cash and I'm stuck here yeah that's one of the perils of having a motorcycle here in the uh, Skyway system or the expressway system everybody has a electronic device or RFID for their uh, payment and uh, I'm not supposed to stay here uh, oh. Murphy's slow I guess all right so one of the first reasons one of the reasons why you should get a cruiser just like this is comfort in seat height now some uh, some cruisers have uh, the standard foot position and some have what they call the forward position feet forward and most typically those that feed forward are some stock models like the Harleys, the Indians and for this Honda Rebel you can uh, commission somebody to put a feet forward kit and uh, somebody famous here I haven't done that yet um, I feel that this Honda Rebel uh, is too small for the feet forward kit but nevertheless so again going back to the seat height and the comfort um, I am five, I am 5'6 uh, and maybe 5'8 with DeSantis heels and um, uh, what makes it better is that the security, the confidence, the trust that if you stop like this right now in traffic uh, my feet are firmly placed on the ground and I don't have to worry about tiptoeing and falling to the side which has occurred I have to admit, man, whoever did that, right, have balance. So, whoever did that, uh, delayed it. So, going back to so the seat height, it is, uh, you are low to the ground. So, the low center of gravity of the bike, no matter how heavy it could be, won't be an issue with regards to standing, idling, being in traffic. So the comfort and the security of a low seat height will, I think, build confidence and comfort and, you know, ease of riding. Um, you know, being being uh, in a comfortable cruiser type seat seating position. Um, my arms are not that stretched, uh, although some people have monkey bars. Hey, that's their thing, but that's not for me. Um, but the stock position of this Honda Rebel is already sufficient for, I would say, the Philippine riding and uh, ease of um, sitting position. Uh, but this Honda Rebel is not notorious for a very uncomfortable seat. So that's why I show you some pictures here. I have actually a gel pad on my seat mainly because it's that hard after 30 to 45 minutes 
so that's the reason why you should get a cruiser is the seat height now of course some cruisers like the Indians the Harleys they're pretty heavy uh, and, and some Japanese models have gone to maybe 800 600 pounds this Honda Rebel is about four, just uh, maybe 450 408 up with exact weight up on the screen and um, it's the low center of gravity helps you maneuver uh, the second reason why you I believe why you should get a Honda Rebel is it's ease in city driving uh, because of the low seat height uh, the low center of gravity um, it's I would say it's very nimble at the optimum speeds meaning it is easy it's gentle to oh my god maybe it's, is it just California that it's um, you can lane split uh, tell me in the comments below if there's any other state but in here in the Philippines technically it's against the rules but uh, because of the volume I guess it's tolerated and of course as it, we, you really need to do that uh, in, th in this country right now it's uh, I call it the winter months <laughs> if there's such a thing here in the Philippines and it it's cooler to drive to ride it's not that hot but in the summer a few months from now it's gonna get so hot and you be if being stuck in traffic you know following the lanes it's gonna really be really uncomfortable that's why I think uh, we should tolerate lane splitting so again the second reason is it's being nimble a third reason why you should get the Honda Rebel is if it's a spare bike or the secondary bike or it's not your main bike the cruiser then is a great alternative when it comes to shorter rides I mean let's face it cruisers are not really designed for hour long two hour three hour long rides of course, of course you can do it but it's not you know it's not designed for that if you are if you bought a bike uh, if I if I if I was into off-road bikes off-road riding it's I'm not gonna bring a rebel I'm not gonna bring a cruiser and at the same time if you're city driving if you're just going to the local, local coffee shop coffee shop you're ooh, you're not gonna bring an enduro dirt only uh, sometimes those bikes are not uh, legal for the street uh, but of course the cruiser is legal for anywhere <laughs> so I think uh, being the appropriate for short rides for less than 30 minutes an hour tops and if you're going to say in the urban areas a cruiser is a perfect fit uh, you won't feel out of place oh sorry you won't look out of place in fact you'll really look cool all right so that's one that's a third reason why you should get the rebel uh, not a rebel sorry I'm not endorsing any but uh, speaking of such I have a little of a video I'll put up the card up here and back in the description below uh, my other video regarding the prices of cruisers in the Philippines as of I'd say 2020 the end of 2021 uh, the video is a couple of years old and uh, you, you probably factor in maybe a price increase of maybe 10 15 percent maybe maybe uh, for example the Honda Rebel this one I have right now I got it at 2021 at 385 it's now being sold at 399 uh, there are other models of the same engine uh, the 500x uh, which is the off the adventure type and of course there's the CL500 the scrambler version um, so that's a different pricing and so for short rides a cruiser is the optimum bike uh, I do have an event uh, I do have an adventure bike I'm not gonna take that to the when I need to buy bread or a stick of butter uh, no you know I'm not gonna do that so this cruiser uh, is I already have installed a top box although I'm not it does it's not it's not on right now but I do have one because you know I already decided this would be my errand bike and that's another reason so, you know errand is your errand bike it's easy to get on get off because of the seat height um, and it's it's it, since you're gonna do low speeds it's perfect for maneuvering so that's the third reason uh, fourth reason should I give five okay I'll give you five five is really the most important 
I guess getting a cruiser on the fourth reason is its adaptability to accessories, its mods. I mean, it right now it's not out of place if you get side paneers, side bags, or this uh, uh, a what they call the sissy bar in the back. It's not gonna look out of place. You, you put the paneers on a sports bike or naked bike, it's gonna look weird. You're gonna put a sissy bar on a naked bike, it's also gonna look weird, but. For the cruiser, its adaptability to the accessories is another reason why I should get one. I mean, um, I have, uh, I'm part of a rebel group here in the Philippines, and of course I look at the pictures, and I've seen some of them on the road. They definitely have, uh, you know, uh, side paneers. Some even have, I have put the top box in mine. And so that's a, that's a good reason for getting a cruiser. The adaptability, the ease of accessories, the ease of modification. Um, I'm not one to modify that much. Uh, I like to give everything basically stock. Although I put a top box, uh, but as far as aesthetics looks, I'm not gonna put monkey bars. Uh, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna put a crash guard eventually. I have to have to buy one uh, because my this will be now basically my wife's bike when she starts riding. So that's the fourth reason. The fifth reason and the most or not the most, the best reason why you should get a cruiser because it's gonna make you look badass. No matter what you have, whether it be 150cc, a 200 or 800 or even a thousand or a liter bikes like the Harleys, a cruiser will make you look cool. No matter what you wear, no matter uh, where you come from, if you arrive in a cruiser, they're gonna say wow you see to the not to say the average eye but to the uh, let's say the uh, the uninterested eye to motorcycles they're not gonna know the difference between a Honda Rebel and a Harley fat boy the size maybe but to them it's gonna look a cruiser and going back to the fourth reason when you have a cruiser, you are allowed to wear a leather vest. You're allowed to wear a leather jacket. You're allowed to wear, uh, well, safety reasons, but you're allowed to wear what they call a three-fourths helmet or an open face helmet. You're allowed to wear that. I have that, uh, and I use it when I know I'm gonna just with, within the village and I'm not gonna, uh, ride long i mean so if i gonna want to ride more out of the house out of the village i'm gonna wear a full face helmet just like this but if i'm not one in the village um yes you can put me down but hey you know uh driving at 20 30 and at this weather it's it's okay to have a three fourth it's still it's still certified it's still you know standard it's still uh, acceptable it's got the sticker and all that so having a three fourth helmet and the cruiser is match. You are allowed to do that. I'm not saying if you have a Hayabusa, you can not wear a leather jacket. Of course you can. But I'm just saying, you know, uh, in reverse, if let's say I wear a track suit, those leather with the elbow pads and knee pads, and I drive a cruiser, you're going to ridicule me. I am sure about it. So it goes both ways. So again, these are the reasons why you should get a cruiser. Um, I hope you learned something from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my morning commute to work. Um, if you can, uh, uh, to support my channel, to help me grow, not, not grow physically, but you know, the channel grow, uh, please uh, do me a favor and uh, like this video, share it. And you know, it's free. Hit that subscribe button. Or either side I'm not too sure I, I can't really tell uh, it helps the channel uh, get exposed it helps the algorithm and uh, most importantly gives you three years of good luck all right so this is Moto Dean saying it's not what you know it's what they don't know peace out ride safe guys thanks